Okay, so what we've got here is a, a sample probe on this side, um, which is taking sample directly from the track, from that sample there, and putting it into the iron selective electrode. Okay, so it measures sodium, potassium and chloride on this bit of the machine here, and then it puts an aliquot into that dilution turntable at the back. It makes a dilution of that sample with saline, uh, one in five dilution, and then it takes separate aliquots from the dilution turntable and puts those into a sample turntable there. You can see the probe is moving that sample to the sample turntable. It then goes through a quarter of a turn to here where it's putting in the reagents. So we've got a reagent one probe which is moving reagent into the actual cuvette where the analysis takes place. After five minutes, the sample will be in the right position for the reagent two probe to put sample into the uh, cuvette again. And it then goes through mixing. So we've got a mixer one and a mixer two here, which come out and vibrate backwards and forwards and spin around very quickly in the cuvette. You can see that now. That ensures that the sample is mixed effectively. And constantly, throughout the time of the 10 minutes that the assay will take, the lamp here has a spectrophotometer on the other side, inside of the ring, which will constantly be taking readings, absorbance readings, and these can be used to produce the result for the uh, individual assay. So for example, if it was a glucose assay, we would produce a calibration curve using calibrators with known value, and then we would see what the absorbance reading was at the end of that uh, 10 minutes for the patient sample and put it back into the calibration curve to produce a result in millimoles per litre. After each cuvette is used, at the end of its 10 minutes, it's washed very carefully. So this is a wash station which is cleaning cuvettes. They get an acid and an alkaline wash and then a water wash and then they're hoovered out very carefully so that the cuvette is clean and dry before it's used again. And it actually shines a light through that cuvette to check that it's clean.